Today, I've been to the shops and I have quite a few things here. So we're gonna do a bit of a rescaping of the tank here. For a fish keeper, this is just being in heaven. Really enjoying the process of this tank. And with the new plants, I think it gives it a whole new feel. And once you start growing in, oh, I can't even wait to see what it'll look like. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Chris Aquariums. Hope you've been having a good day and a good weekend. Uh, I went through to my local fish store this morning. It's an amazing store, huge, tons of equipment, stuff for the hobby. Uh, so I tried not to pick out too much, uh, but what I did get is a new fish for the 100 liter tank behind us, which I'll show you about now. But I also picked up a couple of odds and ends, so I'll show you what those are. So just a couple of small items for the hobby. I'm sure I'm gonna go back and get a couple of other things, but for me, what's the most important at the moment are these little bottles here uh, with Flourish and Flourish Advance. So as you might have seen, our new 100 liter tank is quite planted and I'm wanting the plants to grow in really nice on this tank. So as you can see, we've got some Anubius, Amazon Sword, Java Fern, and a couple of other plants around here. And the idea is to have this grow out really nicely so it gives kind of an Amazon jungle um, biotope. So I got with me the typical Flourish, a comprehensive supplement for the planted aquarium. That's just to, to give them nutrients that they can grow well. But what I saw today was the Flourish Advance, which has advanced formula contains phytohormones, minerals, and nutrients that dramatically stimulate the growth of both roots and shoots in aquatic plants. So the reason for that is the tank is quite new. So all of the plants that you see in here have been planted recently into the dirt substrates. So the purpose of that Flourish Excel is to get the root structures going well so that they can get good growth and nutrients from the soil below. And then just to add to that Amazon landscape that we're going for on the tank, I've been floating some driftwood for a little while and once it's fully sunk, that's gonna be going in the tank as well. So let me show you that. It takes longer to sink than I thought, but it should be a couple days now and then we'll put that in the tank too. But let's get back to the main purpose of this video, which is to introduce the Albino Cory Cats into the community 100 liter 20 gallon tank. So what we're going to do is what we always do, which is make sure that the fish is properly acclimated to the tank before adding it. And what we do is we open up the bag and we float it on the top of the water for 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that the temperature is acclimated to the bag and the tank. And during that time, slowly add some of the tank water into the bag so that it gets used to the parameters of the tank. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to put the bag here in the water and let this float for about 15 to 20 minutes and make sure that the temperature of the bag and the temperature of the aquarium are the same. And every now and then, take some tank water and put it into the bag, slowly making the water parameters similar. Okay guys, it's been about 15 minutes and I think the temperature of the bag is around the same as the temperature to the tank and the water parameters of the water that he came in and that of the tank are probably quite similar, which means it's time to put him into the tank. Now I'm only one man, so I'm gonna need two hands to put the fish in the tank, but let me show you it going in. Let's get him in the tank. And there he is. Brand new tank, busy exploring. And I think he'll find a nice place where he can hide and just relax while he acclimates to the new tank. Beautiful fish, these Albina Cory Cats. And I think it's always nice to welcome new tank mates uh, with the feeding.
So today I fed some of the micro wafers that you saw a bit earlier, just so that we know that they'll drop down to the bottom and the new tank guy will have something to eat. With this being a 100 litre tank, I just thought that our current quarry cat could use some help. So that's why we've now got the Albino quarry cat to help with the cleaning up duties in the tank. See he's met up with these peppered quarry cats tank mates. So that's the video guys. Thanks for watching. Introducing the Albino Quarry Cat into our 100 liter tank here. Uh, the tank is quite empty and there's a lot of space for new fish so I think there's going to be quite a lot of new additions coming in the future as well as our driftwood and our other tanks that we have as well. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, before I leave off I just want to show you another video of how much our new angelfish really like this new tank. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.